Welcome back to Art Friends. We are gonna be making a texture farm today. All right, you guys are gonna start with a um, pencil and a piece of paper. I'm gonna start with a marker so that you guys can see my lines a little bit better. And we are gonna start by making different types of lines because um, we're gonna be making like a field and a barn and a fence and a tractor and some pumpkins. Um, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by making a curved line for the separation of the sky and the ground. All right, now we are gonna come here and draw the tractor next. And the way we're gonna draw the tractor, we're gonna do a big circle with a medium circle and a small circle. And then next to it, we're gonna draw a medium, a small, and an itty bitty circle. And then we're gonna make a rectangle. And then we're gonna make a square with a square inside. And then a rectangle. So that is gonna be the shape, or I'm sorry, that's gonna be the tractor made completely out of shapes. Now we need to come and add some lines on our field. So I'm gonna come in here and just draw some lines. These would be some smooth lines because they're just nice and straight. But now I need to add some texture lines. So how about some wavy lines? Maybe some zigzag lines. Um, some swirly lines. And maybe some um, X lines, which would be like a sharp texture. Okay, that gives us some texture in our field. Now we could even come in here and draw our pumpkins. So our pumpkins are gonna start with an oval and then have two ovals on each side and then a triangle for the stem. Okay, so we can repeat that again. An oval for the middle, another oval, another oval, 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 triangle for the stem. Okay, you can draw as many pumpkins as you want. I am gonna draw, I think, three today. So I have my pumpkins on my field. Next, I am gonna get ready to draw my barn. And I'm gonna start by making a straight line across the top with a diagonal line coming down. That's gonna be the roof of my barn. So I'm gonna make that a little bit Boulder. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw my lines coming down for the sides, and this one will be coming here off the edge. In the middle, I wanna make a big double door, so I'm gonna make two rectangles, and I'm gonna put an X on each door. And then at the top, I'm gonna make another big rectangle, divide it in half, and make two X's. Okay, next to the barn, I'm gonna have what is called a silo and I'm gonna make a rectangle with a curved top and I'm gonna have some curved lines on the silo. Now, I'm gonna come in here and make some lighter lines for um, some texture on my barn and my silo. And now I need to add my fence. And the way I do that is I just make lines going up and down and then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make a curved line and then I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom so it looks like it's attached there. All right, so there is my fence. And the last thing I wanna do is add some swirly lines in the sky. So it looks like we have some wind going on. All right guys, so now we have our texture farm drawn. Now comes the fun part where we get to color. Now. I am gonna go with some realistic colors today. So I'm gonna go ahead and color my sky blue. And what I love about using crayons 
um, is that you can color large areas quickly without your hand getting too fatigued, um, especially if you just use a nice regular pressure. Okay. Now, you can color your buildings whatever color you want. I am a fan of a red barn, so I'm sticking with my red today. Now, I do love orange pumpkins. I know pumpkins can be different colors, but I love the orange pumpkins. So I'm gonna do a little bit of orange for there. I'm gonna get some green for my stems. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of a darker green for my tractor. And in my mind, this is a John Deere tractor. So it's going to be green with a little bit of yellow. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space there because I wanna come in there with some yellow to make a yellow stripe. And then my tires um, are gonna be yellow and black. Assuming I can find a black crayon. This is a gray, it'll work. And I'm gonna color the window in. All right. Now, I am gonna color the top of my silo this gray color as well. And then I have brown left for my field. So I'm just gonna take my brown crayon and I'm just gonna color this area. Again, I love crayons because you can color large areas kind of quickly with very little effort in terms of um, like a marker takes forever because the juice dries out. Colored pencils, you may have to resharpen. I mean, I do like colored pencils, don't get me wrong. But I do like a crayon because again, you can color fairly quickly, get a nice coverage. And it looks pretty solid. Okay. End result, we have a texture farm. We have swirls in the sky. We have um, sharp X's on the barn. We have curvy pumpkins. We have zigzags and swirls. And oh my, so many different textures going on. All right, guys, have some fun with this texture farm. I cannot wait to see the end result. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.